Hi, I'm Sailor Earth, Ernest here, and today, well, today is August the 1st, and what happened at least one, two, three, four, five years ago, well, five years ago was the last time I had a Microsoft Windows Reckoner, so about five years ago, and we're going to go talk about today, well, we just say that five years ago was when, okay, so, all right, <sighs> anyway, so five years ago, let's go back, because there was always mishaps with all the Reckoners that we had, either be the Comcast Basari, well, actually first it was the E-Machines, then it was a Comclass Basario. And both of those had Microsoft Windows XP on them. Well, the first Dell we got did. Um, yeah. And the other Dell we got also had, well, it had Vesta on it. And that for, and, it, and the first mishap that happened to it happened in October of you know 2014 YL and then there was the other Dell that was a laptop that had Microsoft Windows 7 on it and finally went to the laptop with the the laptop with the Acer that had Microsoft Windows 8.1 every time I would get one I'd be at the cutoff time of all those windows and the Acer one was the one that had all the hang-ups. Two months after getting into it by December, there was power washing going on. Then by February, you had, had to power wash it again. And then everything was good and up until that August. And then after another round of power washing, it didn't work. So then led to the uh, gateway desktop of Microsoft Windows 10 that I was borrowing between from August of 2015 YL until November 2015 YL which led to the LG you know the LG de all desktop with Google Chrome OS on it and that lasted for about five years until Google pulled out with the updates which ended up going to the HP Reckoner with Microsoft Windows 10 again. So, you see, but it was five years ago since that happened. And five years ago, August started on a Saturday. So, anyway, I don't know, I just have these thoughts about, you know, but anyway, so the first thing I want to say is, is that there might be some folks out there who might wonder is that what the film was about you know, it was just one little chunk so you have the YouTube editor or YouTube shifter and it's supposed to be YouTube's take on the ArcSoft and the Microsoft and the Sony and the Apple and the Mackie cam and you know and the Final Cut and all those other the last cut and all those other film shifting tools out there. Well, it is as shitty as all the other ones. You know, some folks have skilled it and they can come on and they can make a end film sheet and tell everybody, well, if you like this, go follow me here or watch some of these films over here. Well, that's not gonna work for me. Then you can, uh, then, you know, some folks can skill it and they could pick a likeness, you know, like for their fair, fair way, fair way, and like, you know, follow me here. Well, that doesn't work for me. I seek that once, and YouTube kept telling me, oh, it was too small, too big, too small. So none of those tools actually work. And I wasn't going to keep on fucking around with tools that I didn't to get them to work. And that's always the downside to all these film shifting tools out here. 
they don't do what they're supposed to do while the YouTube one is the lower down than all the other ones you can't make anything brighter well you can't make anything brighter you can't cut anything out oh god forbid if you actually do that but that's asking for a hang up every you know um and you really can't do nothing with this one so if you're one if you're wondering oh well if you're wondering why you never see an end to the film where there's the there's the likeness and I'm saying well if you like these films you can follow me here if you like what you see then go watch some other films well that never gonna happen because the tools don't work for me you know they don't they're the it, it just it it just starts running a film and there's nothing that tells you what nothing does and I'm not gonna go fuck up a film just to learn how that works and we know that these films don't always work the way these tools don't work the way they're supposed to work I wanted to make some kind of likeness you know with oh follow me here but every time I seek to put on the likeness YouTube kept saying it was too small too big you know and I bet you if I even wanted to film a little end sheet I guess they call it I don't know how that works and then then somehow you then unput that oh but guess what you're at the, that's asking for too much work yeah you know that's asking for too much work and there and it's like how does that even work it's like something about oh you probably have to film that and then somehow some way you have to unput that with the rest of your film which has to do with cutting something out and putting something in we all know every time you ask a film shifting tool to do that you're asking for a hang up and the YouTube one is uh, lives right up to all those other ones names so there yet are folks out there who skilled the YouTube one got it to do all the things that YouTube says it will do but it's never gonna work for me it's never gonna work for our films or our fair way you know it's gonna fuck things up like it always does you know so at the end of the day it is what it is you know so and I know there are going to be some folks out there saying well a lot of folks work it and it works for a lot of folks as I said a lot of folks skilled it a lot of folks had a lot of time in their hand made a film they didn't care about just so they could you know fuck it up to, and learn from it well when I make a film I actually care about the film I don't just make it just so it's something I can something that I can besmirch so I can learn how my film shifting tool works because everyone is just too lazy to tell you how film shifting tool works yeah it's true they just slap something they just put something together and then say hey go work with it and YouTube is no one like all those other businesses that make film shifting tools so at the end of the day, it doesn't work. It's too hard, you know, to get it to work. And I think the YouTube one is just, you know, broken. And at the end of the day, has less going for itself than all the other ones, you know. So it is what it is. So that, that answers your asking to why we never work with the YouTube shifter or whatever you want to call it well now you know why because the end of the day the YouTube one is as is as, as, as hard to work as all the other ones so that's it I'm Sailor Earth Ernest hope you like this film